Hey YouTube, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I want to show you some gameplay of the Borealis Exotic Sniper Rifle. After using this weapon for some time, I think it's safe to say that this is one of the best snipers that nobody is using. Bungie recently made a change to all exotic perks to have selectable element types. They essentially made them work like Elemental Capacitor where each element provides additional benefits to the weapon core stats. I'll give you a quick breakdown so you know what each element does. When you have Arc selected, you get a plus 25 to the handling that, which is awesome if you want to switch from your sniper to your primary much faster. The next one is solar and this gives you a plus 35 to reload and a plus 20 to airborne effectiveness. This is the one that I probably will ignore unless I want to build into AE and hit trick shots in the air with my sniper which is probably not what I want to do with Borealis. The last one is my personal favorite, the void element. And this gives you a plus 20 to stability and a plus 10 to aim assist. When I was using Void, I felt like I couldn't miss. It basically has a built-in adept targeting adjuster and it has a significant additional flinch resistance. Because remember, when you have more stability, you basically have less flinch. If you're curious about Borealis and PvE, well, this weapon has seen its fair use in the past, but I feel like it relies heavy on sniper anti-barrier mods or some other mods that help snipers so that it's actually beneficial in endgame. I will note though that it did actually get a buff this season that states, breaking a matching shield now refills the magazine from reserves and allows your next 5 shots to deal bonus damage. This could prove extremely powerful come lightfall where we know that there's going to be some linear fusion rifle nerfs coming, so it's possible that the snipers get an indirect PvE buff, so we could revisit this exotic in that area in the near future. When it comes to PvP, I would highly recommend this sniper to anyone that may not already have a legendary god role that they're fond of. There are also pretty limited options for 72 RPM snipers right now, and there's quite a benefit to that kind of damage output. For example, it makes for really easy cleanup kills and opening attacks. It's just a good way to kind of counter the current slow meta right because people are at the back of the map we see a resurgence of sniper rifles and pulse rifles so it's important to have a good one in the back just in case the situation calls for it uh, the final note i'll make is that if you do use borealis you have a ton of kinetic options to pair this weapon with there's so many good hand cannons and smgs out there nowadays anyways i say give it a shot you may be surprised like i was and that's pretty much it when it comes to the borealis breakdown if you liked the video drop me a like on the channel and also comment subscribe if you haven't already enjoy the rest of the gameplay all right, so I just want to have a good time with Borealis. Right now, we're currently in the arc. Oh, that's arc. Solar, and then void. In case you didn't know, I am slightly colorblind when it comes to blues and purples. It's called uh, Proton. Protonopia is the colorblind setting that I use. Maybe we can collect all the special ammo. Now, I am aware of some of the benefits we get from using certain colors we got three different crayons to choose from right sir no challenge in the void mode i believe it's the one that i actually want to use because it has increased ability and then increased aim assist which it's actually great for a sniper rifle, because if we have increased ability, then that means we have less flinch, correct? I have a harmony, but I probably should have aimed on sights right there. We just took the lead. If at any moment we can actually... um. Oh my god, the aim assist. Shush! And the flinch, too. It's ridiculous. Oh. Oh, yeah. My favorite thing about having stompies on is it just makes it really easy to backpedal things like that. Oh, headshot in the air. We'll take that. Oh, we'll take that one, too. I'm, I'm beast. I can walk in there. I have to say, I think it's impossible to miss a snipe. Oh my god! It is so insane okay 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 i didn't get a crit right there because the guy's cheating with the bmt nah. <laughs> it's like frapple he didn't even hit you man you just missed and you're right about that bro this actually feels so good body shot i need to rotate out of here 
I wonder what the no scopes is like. Dude, surely it's like insane to hit a no scope, right? Oh, bro. Yo. Oh, we are so screwed here. Triple down, what a maniac. Oh, I got the trade, perfect. Scared, but Afrabo does have a little golden gun. I can't see you. I like to think that the invis, like my weakness with the invis, is part of me like having that colorblind issue a little bit. I just don't know if it actually matters. But I feel like it does. Because I feel like I hate Invis more than like anybody else. But I won't complain as much about it like other people, but I just feel like they just don't understand my frustration. Can you guys uh not use a sniper rifle here? That'd be really nice, bro. No way there's only one here. Going to go collect special ammo. Oh no, I miss. I am getting happy with the uh, sniper rifle. I want the special ammo. Body one. Classic. Won't be long now. Anyways, let's continue on an adventure of uh, attempting to get Borealis snipes. Body shot. Hit. Let's go ahead and move up a little bit. I got a harmony. Oh, he did. Somebody make the mistake. Bring it home, Guardian. Somebody make the mistake. Oh, he's pushing me. Is all I ask. Good. What the maniacs? Ah, oh, dude, that was actually fun. Borealis. Feels crazy. Oh, I just got a game in progress on Burnout. I'll take it. I haven't played Burnout in so long. It's actually Clash too, so. Oh my god, he one tapped me with DMT. You're in the lead. Oh, he's AFK. Cautiously pushing, making sure I'm not gonna get destroyed by a DMT. We got power ammo, that's why I came back. What the? Someone's up there. That guy didn't draw special ammo. Someone has a golden gun. You have my I took your kill. Oh no. He did. Oh, we're just kind of running through them right now. Hit the back of the map. He's kind of weak. <laughs> and now I have some power ammo, which is huge. Good amount of green here. I hear a super somewhere. Oh, couldn't get him. Listen, dude. He actually didn't have to push it all because... I was kind of screwed, man. I had to push you. Oh, God. So 
Stormbreaker. No! I don't know what type of match they had before I joined. It was a little bit calm. I was like, oh, dude, burnout. I'm going to be an opportunist and actually have a fun match on a map I haven't played in a while. And then once I joined, we just started slaying them in their spawns over and over.